Have you ever wondered about the economic journey of France? From the prehistoric era to the modern day, France's economy has evolved and transformed, shaping not just the nation, but also the world. Starting with a humble agrarian society, France grew and developed through the ages, weathering wars and revolutions, embracing industrialization and globalization to become the economic powerhouse it is today. Join us as we embark on a fascinating journey through time, exploring the economic history of France. The journey begins in ancient France, inhabited since the Paleolithic age. Fast forward to the Roman Gaul era, around the 7th century BC, a time when agriculture, trade and mining were the key pillars of the economy. The Gauls, as the people of this region were known, were skilled farmers who grew a variety of crops, while their strategic location made them a hub for trade. They also had a knack for mining, extracting precious resources from the earth to fuel their economy. These activities provided the foundation for a thriving society, and by the 5th century AD, Roman Gaul had blossomed into a bustling region, home to around 5 to 7 million people. This period laid the groundwork for the economic journey of France, setting the stage for the development and growth that would continue in the centuries to come. By the 5th century AD, Gaul was home to around 5 to 7 million people. As we move into medieval France, we see the emergence of the Merovingian and Carolingian dynasties. This era, spanning from the 5th to the 10th centuries, was marked by an economy rooted in agrarian practices. Farmers tilled the land, reaping harvests that fed the nation and supplied the backbone of the economy. Trade also began to flourish, with commodities like wine, salt and wool becoming significant exports. During these centuries, the French economy began to diversify and grow. The seeds of economic development were sown and the fruits were not long in coming. Urbanization started to take shape with towns and cities growing around trading centers and bishoprics. These urban centers, bustling with activity, became the incubators of economic innovation. As the centuries rolled on, the Capetian dynasty took the reins, steering France from the 10th century to the 15th. This period saw steady economic growth, fueled by agricultural innovations and the continuing trend of urbanization. New farming techniques and tools were introduced, increasing crop yields and boosting the agrarian economy. At the same time, towns grew into cities, becoming hubs of commerce and trade. Markets thrived, trade routes expanded, and the economy of medieval France became more interconnected and complex. This era also saw the rise of guilds, which played a crucial role in the economy. These organizations of artisans and merchants controlled the practice of their craft in a particular town. They set standards, ensured quality, and provided a network of support for their members. The guild system was a significant factor in the economic stability and growth of medieval France. By the end of the Middle Ages, France was teeming with around 15 million people. The cities were vibrant, the countryside was productive, and the economy was robust. The foundation had been laid for the economic leaps and bounds that France would make in the centuries to come. The lessons learned, the systems established and the progress made during this era would echo through the annals of French economic history. And so, as the Middle Ages came to a close, France stood poised on the cusp of even greater economic development and prosperity. The early modern period in France was marked by wars, the Renaissance and the Age of Absolutism. This era began with the Hundred Years' War, a conflict that brought both economic and demographic challenges. Despite the turmoil, France's economy did not falter but rather, it adapted and grew stronger. The war was a catalyst for change, reshaping the nation's economic structure and leading to the rise of new industries. In the wake of the war, the Renaissance bloomed in France. This period of cultural, artistic and intellectual fervor was also a time of economic growth. The rise of banking and finance became a pivotal part of the economy as the nation began to understand the power of money and how it could be used to fuel growth and innovation. The Renaissance was not just about art and culture, it was also about trade, commerce and economic prosperity. The beginnings of colonial trade also marked this era. French explorers ventured far and wide, establishing colonies and trade networks that would enrich France economically. The wealth accumulated from these endeavors was unprecedented and it set the stage for France's rise as a global economic powerhouse. The Age of Absolutism followed, a time when France became the wealthiest country in Europe.
This was primarily due to the tax reforms of Jean-Baptiste Colbert, Louis XIV's minister. His reforms were instrumental in streamlining the tax system, increasing the nation's revenue, and in turn, contributing to the wealth of the kingdom. The population growth during this period was not as rapid as in previous eras due to the war and other factors. However, by the late 18th century, the population had reached around 25 million people, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the French people. The early modern period was a time of transformation for France. It was an era marked by struggle and change, but also by growth and prosperity. It set the stage for France's future economic successes and laid the foundations for the nation we know today. By the late 18th century, France was the wealthiest country in Europe and home to around 25 million people. The French Revolution marked a significant turning point in the economic journey of France. This tumultuous period, spanning from 1789 to 1799, shook the very foundations of the country's economy. Prior to the Revolution, France was a feudal state with a rigid social structure, with the monarchy and the nobility enjoying wealth and privileges. The revolution brought about sweeping land reforms that dismantled this structure, transferring wealth and power from the aristocracy to the rising bourgeoisie. The redistribution of land in particular had a profound impact as it allowed a greater number of people to participate in the economy. This led to a noticeable increase in agricultural productivity and, consequently, economic growth. The revolution also saw the rise of industry, marking the beginnings of France's journey towards becoming an industrial powerhouse. The revolution's emphasis on equality and liberty encouraged entrepreneurship, leading to a surge in manufacturing and trade. However, the revolution was not without its challenges. The period was characterized by economic instability and inflation, largely due to war expenses and the fall of the monarchy. Yet, even in the face of these challenges, the French economy proved resilient. The rule of Napoleon Bonaparte, from 1799 to 1815, brought about a period of economic prosperity. Napoleon implemented a series of reforms aimed at stabilizing the economy, including the establishment of the Bank of France and a fairer tax system. His conquests across Europe also opened new markets for French goods, leading to an economic boom. The 19th century saw France fully embrace industrialization, leading to significant economic growth. This period was marked by advancements in technology and infrastructure, which further boosted productivity and trade. Key industries during this time included textiles, steel and chemicals, all of which contributed to France's rising economic prominence. By the end of the 19th century, France had a population of around 40 million people. This population growth, coupled with economic advancements, set the stage for France to emerge as one of the world's leading economies in the centuries to come. The 20th century brought both challenges and opportunities for France. The onset of the world wars caused severe economic devastation, with industries and infrastructures suffering heavy damages. The country's economy had to endure not one, but two periods of conflict and reconstruction within just a few decades. Yet, the spirit of resilience in the French nation was palpable. During the post-war period, from 1945 to 1973, France underwent a rapid economic growth phase, often referred to as the Glorious Thirty. This was a time when various economic policies were implemented, leading to the rejuvenation of industries and a steady increase in the population, which reached around 50 million by 1973. The latter part of the 20th century saw a steady economic growth, despite facing some downturns. France, like the rest of the world, had to navigate through economic recessions, oil crises and shifting global trade dynamics. However, the country managed to maintain a steady growth trajectory, showing its ability to adapt and evolve. As we step into the 21st century, the French economy continues to grow, albeit at a slower pace. Influenced by the global economic situation, France has faced its share of challenges. Yet it has also seen significant advancements. For instance, in the year 2000, the gross domestic product or GDP of France was $1.508 trillion. By 2020, this figure had risen to $2.782 trillion. That's a growth rate of 2.56% over two decades.
Moreover, the population of France has also continued to grow steadily. In the year 2000, the population was around 64.6 .6 million people. By 2020, this had increased to around 67.8 million people. Despite challenges, the French economy continues to grow, influenced by the global economic situation. The journey of France, from the hardships of the 20th century to the opportunities of the 21st, is a testament to the nation's robustness and resilience. And as we look forward, the future holds promising prospects for this remarkable economy. The economic journey of France is a tale of resilience and innovation. From its prehistoric roots, through the ages of Roman Gaul, the medieval and early modern periods, to the transformative effects of the French Revolution and the Industrial Era. Even in the face of world wars and economic downturns, France has continued to adapt and grow. Today it stands as a testament to the enduring power of economic evolution and innovation. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the economic history of France.